Oh, huh. hi. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm a gork. Dork. I'm, a, I'm a gork. Still can't talk. All right, so I have a box of special drill items that we are going to go over. I just disturbed the cat. She was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Anyway, um, oh, I forgot one. Hang on. All right, so here's the disclaimer. Everything that I am showing you in this video, um, I don't know if we should be able to get through all of them. I purchased on eBay, but I have seen them on Peggy Buy. So click the, the, the link in the description box and head over to Peggy Buy, and you can find just about all of these over there. So you don't have to deal with eBay if you don't want to. So this first one, I was super excited when I saw it. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. And like I said, I ha you can see I had to cut the tape on it, so I have not looked closely at it. I've only seen the pictures on Peggy Buy and on eBay, and it looks so cool. So cool. I might have to sit down and actually work on this when I get done filming because I am like really, I've been dying to like get my paws on it since it came in the mail. All right. So first of all, we have a string. We have a beautiful tassel. And it is soft and luxurious. It is so nice. And the beads are beautiful on it. Gorgeous. So this, um, I'm not real sure. I'll have to. Okay. So this is mm -hmm. part here. We have a ring. We have a piece of plexi. The ring has two holes, so you can see one there and one there. So one for the tassel and one for the, this is the hanging cord. So we have the ring, the flexi. We have a piece of very, very stiff foam board. It's not your typical like foam core. This is like some serious, I'm like, it's plastic. I can't squeeze it. Okay. We have the standard kit, which, yes, I am throwing them away now because I have way too many. And then you actually get two eye hooks to hang it with. And then for the image, I actually have a canvas of this guy. So I, I like getting things like to same picture different thing you know what i mean i like i don't know why i like that it's i think that's just the hoarder in me having to have multiple but i love it he's a little rainbow owl so you can see you cut this out once you put your drills on and it will go inside the frame under a piece of plexi so it's extra protected and then for the drills if i can get it open I kind of wish the tassel was rainbow. That would be even more special, but what are you going to do? So we have the uh, peak orange teardrop for his beak. We have the awesome red AB marquee, the purple ones, the aqua. Then into the rhinestones, we have pale pink and purple, a little bit of red and some green, two shades of blue, yellow and orange, brighter pink, and then we have the blue AB pearls. So that is, let's see, which one is this? This is C1. I don't see. I'm trying to figure out where the pearls, the blue pearls go, but I don't see that code on here. Weird. Let's see, I need to plug in the computer. Hang on a second. Before it dies, I'll maze use the close up. 
Okay, so where do those go? Maybe that's just one, number one. Yeah, number one. Why it has a C in front of it, I don't know. So it's just his main outline will be the blue AB pearls. And the outline, um, instead of it being black, I've noticed that a lot on the special drills. Instead of them sending black, they send this blue, um, the blue AB pearls. So it makes the outline have some more color and dimension to it because they have the, you know, the iridescent finish to it. So that is a really cool piece. I'm very excited to see how that turns out and to add him to my owl wall. Because, yes, I literally have a wall full of owls. A little obsessive, I know. Okay, so let's get all of these pieces put away. Actually, I wonder, I'm kind of curious, does it show me how to put these? Oh, you use the eye pens. Okay, so that's why there's two of them. So you attach the tassel onto, does it slip on? No, I'll have to loop it. So you attach the tassel onto one. Like so, get my fat fingers out of the way. Like that. And then this will go in once you get the piece all um, completed you'll screw this in and it'll actually screw into this so it'll hold it all in place and then this I guess I'll do it the same way but I don't know that's gonna seem kind of no that's not right it's got a loop. Maybe I'll have to put a, like, um, because I don't think you can stretch these eye pins. It's too thick. I might have to put a jump ring on that to attach it to the eye pin. Because the, her fingers are over that part where it shows how to connect it. So I'm a little confused on that one. So you look yeah you put that on there that's the hanging there's the tassel there's the hanging thing but it doesn't show you how they connected the hanger thingy to the eye hooks I'll figure it out I will figure it out I think a jump ring will be perfect the perfect solution for that so let me get this back in here getting text messages couldn't hear it buzz 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 Oh, come on. Get back in there. Maybe that's why the canvas was wrinkled when I took it out. Because it's a little tight. All right, we're not going to fight with it. We're just going to tuck it over there because I'm, I am guarantee you it's going to get done tonight. <laughs> I am tired of waiting. Just tired of it. Tired, tired, tired. Okay. Um, this is... A pleasant surprise because I was really anticipating this next two items being very poor quality, very um, cheap, but I am very happy with the result, the receipt of the item. So let me do a little bit of assemblage, maybe. Where I get my pliers. Hang on. Oh, wait, what is. Do I need pliers? Why is that? Why did I have those on there? Not any pliers, but I don't understand the purpose of the jump rings. Okay, never mind. Oh, getting hung up on my little rug. I keep a little rug under my chair because I had started. I have carpet in my bedroom. And with me pushing in and out on my stool, I started rubbing a hole in the carpet. So I had to get like one of those little like runner rugs. So I'm constantly getting hung up on it. Okay, so here is the item. It is an adorable little bag with a red, um, just a red flower image. So it has the chain 
strap, which I'm not crazy about, um, but it'll do. Because this is definitely not going to be an everyday purse because it will not, I'll guarantee you, it will not hold up to lots of use. But when I go to special places like um, conventions or craft shows or theme parks, places like that, I like to take a small purse. Probably would not be the best place to go to a theme park with one of these. But because um, it get banged around, banged around a lot. But, you know, just going out for the day, just need your phone and your keys and your, you know, debit card, whatever. This will be perfect. And just a little conversation starter. Because I can guarantee you, you're going to get a lot of attention carrying this purse around. So it would, I would suggest sealing it with the um, sealer. See, I don't understand. There were two jump rings attached to the chain, but it comes with these awesome. Uh, are these C clamps? I don't know what they're called, but it came with those, so it goes right on there. So I'm not sure what that was all about. And it's supposed to have a tassel. Oh, there it is. Maybe that's what the C rings. No, there's one on there. I'm very confused. So this comes with a leather tassel. It is very cheap. The this top piece is plastic, but it is a leather suede type material. I'm sure it's faux, but still, it looks nice. So I need to just attach that. I'll have to um, get my pliers for that. I will that's I'll use the jump ring it has a jump ring on there but I'll use one of these smaller ones um, to attach it so it has just an extra little dangle but I don't know is it soft enough no I have to use the pliers I don't want to break it or my fingernail so for the stones on this we have the gold Circles or balls, pearls, whatever you want to call them. They're the flat backed gold. Then we have yellow teardrops. Gave me one extra one on there and two extra of the gold balls, it looks like, because I only see two. So that's cool. I love when they do the extra stuff. Um, we have two sizes of red circles. This is more of an orangey one and this is more of a true red, a smaller one. We have a little bit, we have two sizes of the light brown. Now we get into the normal size rhinestones and we have really pretty yellow, pale blue, more of a turquoise blue and regular blue. Then we have a deep red. This is the really, really deep cranberry color red. And then this is the brighter, almost like a Christmassy red. And then these are the gold topped drills. So it's just a black drill, as you can see, with the metallic gold finish on it. So this is going to be a very, very rich looking bag. And I'm super excited. I love it. Super, super cute. I have a, a thing with purses. And I've actually been really good lately. I have not bought myself a new purse in a long time. Mainly because I just don't go shopping. Because it gets you in trouble. So, um, I've been really good lately. I'm only purchasing things that I need. Well, except for diamond reasons. I actually, I actually really have cut back on my... Purchases. I have two auctions pending at the moment as I film this, um, and I have about a dozen that are still coming to me, like on their way being shipped. So I have drastically reduced my inventory purchasing. So, um, but I have other plans. So don't freak out. I'm not. I'm not stopping. I'm just. Um, just cutting back because I have way too many and I really need to work on them um, and not just keep hoarding them. So anyway, I've been very proud of myself. So there's that little purse. Very, very cute. 
turn it over my little inventory cards here. This next one, love it, love it, love it, love it. My favorite, adorable little sunflowers. And this is the cool thing about being in Florida. I don't, I can go ahead and use this purse if I want. <laughs> Uh, I might even finish, take it with me to Kentucky. I don't know. Depends on how much time I have. Although I could take it up there and work on it while I'm there. That's a thought. Okay, okay. So the drills on this one. There is only one special drill. Or are there any? There's one that's a little bit bigger. So it's that green. So that's the center of the flower centers. Then we have orange and yellow. We have that gold again. This is a brownish red color. Then this is a really pretty, almost like a slate blue or a sky blue. And then we have another pretty green. So the yellow really isn't all that much. Oh, I missed one. I was going to say there's really not that much yellow. There's more yellow. So we have two yellows. But the majority of the color comes from the, the print. Oh, there's a ladybug on there. It's even better. Look. Where is she? There's a ladybug. Ladybugs are my other thing. Look. See, I have a ladybug bracelet. And the other day, well, it was last week or a couple weeks ago, I had gone out to run some errands by myself. Um, you know, like picking up Christmas stuff and things that I didn't want Emily to see. And I had gotten, I had left Dollar Tree, and I had gotten back in the car, and I noticed a ladybug crawling around on my passenger window. And I'm like, hey, where did you come from? Ladybugs aren't something we see a lot down here. So I, I was looking at her, I was talking to her, because, you know, ladybugs are my thing. And I realized she's inside the car. I'm like, I'm more special. In my car. How did she get in my car? And how is she on the passenger side? How did I not see her? Where did she come from? So I pulled back into a parking spot, like down at the end of the, the parking lot, because I didn't want to stay like where all the people were and look like a complete freak. And I go walk around. I open up the door, and she crawls right onto my finger. So I walk back around the car, and I get in, and I'm like looking at her. She's just crawling all over my hand, just walking and walking. Never once flapped her wings like she wanted to get off. So I'm just, you know, playing with this lady, <laughs> like a total lunatic. But I had the best five minutes of a long time with this ladybug. She, I don't know, it just totally made my day. I took a picture of her. I posted her on Facebook. I sent it to my mom, my sister. I'm like, look, I got a ladybug. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I've got to let her go. I can't keep her. So I rolled down my window and I'm like, Hold, she's on my finger here. She's walking this direction. So I put her out onto the side mirror. Well, she turns around and goes back. I'm like, oh, she doesn't want to leave me. She's my friend. So I finally got her up on the mirror. So then I had to sit there and wait till she flew away because I wasn't going to drive off and her go, oh. But anyway, she totally made my day. Because I, when I left the house, I was not feeling very good. I was kind of blah and... So that like it was like a total pick me up. Where is the seam on this bag? Oh, seriously, what is going on? Here we go. Okay, so this next thing I'm showing you, I actually bought two sets because I have plans in my little brain. Ooh, oh, they're the cheap ones. Crap. Okay, so my when I first saw these, I was like, ooh, they're so cute. They're just cardboard. They're not acrylic. So this is very disappointing. All right, so I paid less than $3 for one set and $3.25 for the second set. So theoretically, I didn't spend a lot of money on these, but I'm very disappointed in the quality of them because they will not hold up. The, um, the cord will rip through. I might just go ahead and cut these off and not. They're supposed to be ornaments. I may just cut this off and use them as card fronts. Oh, speaking of cards, let me show you. I had showed you the fairies. These were the cards that I came up with. And I did get another set of these. 
because I loved them so much. And you can see I changed up the drills. I changed all the drills to ABs and sparklers. And then the from um, eons ago, I got the woodland creature like stickers. So I cut a Santa hat and made the owl a Christmas card. So I cut, I did, I picked three of the little animals and I cut Santa hats. I've kind of measured their little heads and cut Santa hats on my machine and then put them on there. So I turned my little woodland dudes into Christmas cards as well. So these are super simple. This is just um, an embossing folder that I got on Wish. It's still sitting on my desk. What did I do with it? Here it is. So this is the embossing folder. I got this on Wish. And it's a big giant one. But um, I just put my paper through there. And then I cut apart, well, some of the paper actually cut through on its own. Um, when I took it out of the embossing folder, some of it did not. So it was really odd. But um, I thought, well, that's kind of cool. It'll add a little bit extra to the cards. So like on this one, I swapped out the blue for the green for the center. But you can see there the embossing. It really just adds a lot to it. And then I was went to Hobby Lobby. Did I get these at Hobby Lobby? I think it was Hobby Lobby, pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby, and got these stickers, the little holly and the little poinsettias, just to add to it. I don't have to put a Merry Christmas message on there because the embossing says Merry Christmas. So I'm really happy with these. I need to get them in the mail because it's like the second week of December already. But um, yeah, so they turned out super cute. I love the sparklers and the AB drills. But um, the next set I'm going to get, I haven't decided if they will go on cards or if I'm going to hoard them. But I don't know. They're just so cute. I really like them a lot. All right. So there's that. So here's the little hollies. Just little stickers that I got. They're glittery. And they have what looks like drills for the holly berries. So that was the main thing that caught my eye there. So it all ties together. Now, back. Go back to our initial issue here. So these are supposed to be ornaments, and when I first saw them, I was like, ew, they're red and white. Why? But then I thought, eh, they don't have to stay red and white. So just because the background is red and white, it does not mean I have to put red and white drills only on them. So I ordered two sets, hoping that they were acrylic, because my initial thought was to use them as gift tags. Oh, I got a bonus one. Oh, but it's stuck. Oh, don't tear, don't tear, don't tear, don't tear, don't tear. Whew. Okay, now what am I going to do with that? I'll have to add. It's got um, the plastic piece is cut. So this bottom corner is exposed. And now the back corner of this one is sticky. So I'm going to have to remedy that before I put them away. All right, so I will show you the images. So we have a bell, which now I have three of because there were two stuck together. Heart. This is kind of like a folky style, like folk Christmas style. We have a little house. A tree. I hear you, Anna. Gingerbread. Star. Two snowflakes. Cute little angel. I hear you. I hear you. And a little ornament ball. So, all right. So I let the cat out, and I went and got um, some powder, just some eel body powder, and I put it on the back where it was sticky. So now you can see it's not sticky anymore. You can see where the adhesive was, but the powder takes away the stickiness. So if you ever have that issue where you got have sticky that you don't want, just use a little bit of body powder um, and that will take care of that situation. So now in this case, when I put these away, I will just put this one that has the exposed sticky 
face down so it sticks to the liner of this one to the plastic and not to the back like it was before. So anyway, there's that little crisis averted. So moving on to what comes in the kit, we have AB teardrops, regular red, and then AB white. So my plan for these is going to be complete customization, customizing, customization. Oh, and look how this one is packaged. Two bags of white, two bags of red, and the bag of teardrops. Isn't that funny how you get the same thing, but they're completely different? Um, anyway, so my idea on this is to use my leftover rhinestones and AB drills that I have purchased from Tina, Diamond Painting with Sparklers, and completely customize this set. And I am going to turn these into card fronts. Um because they will not hold up as ornaments or, I mean, gift tags, they would work, but still, I don't want to, they'll get thrown away. It's just cardboard. So I want to use it for something that it will last. Um, cause even though they were inexpensive, they, I don't want to just, I don't want them just get tossed. That's just wasteful. So anyway, those are disappointing, but still, you know what it is, what it is. And they even sent me two different styles of cording which will now be used for another project because they're not going to be ornaments. So anyway, well, there's my cards for next Christmas. Have all year to work on it. <laughs> Turn lemons into lemonade, right? All right. So next we have one of these awesome little boxes and I have one other. I have yet to Put it together as well. Why am I having such a hard time finding the ends of these bags today? It's just a mess. A mess, I tell you, a mess. Now, I love the colors on this. Super pretty. I really want the paisley one. I haven't been able to get it yet, but there's one that has a paisley. I love paisley design. So there's one that has a paisley um, image on it that I haven't been able to get. And if you have not seen one of these boxes before, they actually have two compartments. Actually, let me cut. I don't understand why they don't do it that way to begin with. Cut this. I need to sharpen, get a sharper blade on my knife. Ooh. Sorry. Shut up. Giant tool in one of my drawers. Okay, so there are two compartments to this box. So this would be a really great toolkit for your travels or even for on your desk um, for your diamond painting. You can put your wax in here and you can see the pins and the trays fit in here. So it's nice and compact. Everything is contained there. So the drill, so there's the box and it's a nice size too. Let's see what if a regular ink pen. Oh yeah, ink pens fit. So you could do ink pens and paper clips or staples whatever you need for your travels. All right, so let's take a look and see what comes in this box. Drill-wise, we have quite a few special ones, it looks like. And I love, it's got that purple metallic packaging, which is so pretty. So first off, we have a raspberry round. Then we have AB teardrops and then red teardrops, which are not faceted. They are smooth, which is really cool. Oh, look at that. There's a rectangle one in there. That's cool. I think that's just garbage, but I will use that for something. We have pretty yellow. Then we have crystal, beautiful pink, bright green, blue. I love that yellow. It's almost like a clear, I don't know. It's just really cool looking. It looks like candy to me. And then the bright purple. Very pretty colors. I like it. So this will turn out looking very nice, of course. This would be a nice gift, I think, for teachers. Something different, you know? They can keep their fancy pins in or something on their desk or, I don't know. I like them. They're really, they're nice quality too. They're, you know, thick. They're really nice. 
All right, next, this is super cool. And I really thought I was not going to win the auction, but I have this in mind for a friend because I have no need for it, sadly. But she does. So, standard toolkit yet again. This is a leather type here, but it is a like portfolio cover for a passport. So they have they send it to you flat so you can you know decorate it and then you'll fold it and put your passport well she will put her passport in there and you have a fancy Nancy passport cover so cool I love it it's such a neat idea and I love the colors on it she likes green one of her favorite colors also. Maybe that's why we get along so well. I don't know. But I love the colors in it, the green and the design of it. So it has gold pearls, I call them. I know they're not pearls, but that's what I call them. And then it has these pearls. And then we have, ooh, we have pearl teardrops. Then we have... Bigger green, we have brown, these, I have only gotten these one other time, and I used a couple of them on the fairies, they are so beautiful, it is like a red with an AB coating, it's like, it, it's like a rhinestone with the AB coating on it, I don't know, it is the coolest looking, and it is just rainbow, so pretty, almost, it's more like holographic than uh, iridescent. Then that's a cool green. And then we have yellow AB. We have those gold drills. And then we have white. These are pearls. And they look even smaller. But I guess they're just the normal little pearls. So this will be a gorgeous passport cover for my friend. Which I cannot wait to get it done and gifted to her. I don't know when her next trip is, but it's really, really neat. Okay. okay. Next is, I mean, you're doing it as a set, but it's not a set. They were bought for separately, but they go together because they're owls. So these are two of the little coin purses, and they are smaller then the snowman one, so you can see the size difference here, which I think these are a little bit more practical as far as that goes. I mean, this would work for a backpack for, you know, school or whatever, whereas this would be cute on a purse, maybe a bigger purse, but they have the little, it really doesn't hold much, but you could put some, um, you know, a key, a few coins, a couple dollars of coins, maybe some folded bills. But it does, it is open all the way across, so you, theoretically you could fold, you know, lay something in there flat. A debit card, your credit cards, it would work in there also. So they're super, super cute. There and there. And, oh, you know what I just realized? I took them out of the bag and I didn't pay attention to what went with what. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out as far as matching the drills. Hopefully. Now, I do have both of these in a diamond painting. So, again, I was like, ooh, they match. So, let's see. This is going to go with this guy. Okay, so these are the drills for this one. We have little AB teardrops. Yeah, you can see those in there. Ow, hit my elbow again, good grief. And then we have bigger teardrops. We have two shades of blue, black and pink, orange and green. Then we have bigger blue and yellow. Now these go, these are really fast to do. They only take, you know, about an hour or so which is another reason why I like them. I love the quick projects. 
let's put you in here. Fancy little thing. I probably should not put them back in the same bag, but that's what I'm doing anyway. I'm living dangerously. Now this next one is the little winter owl cutie. And again, I cannot find the opening. There we go. So we have ooh, her beak is a purple AB marquee. Beautiful color, very, very pale, almost pink. Then we have the bigger rhinestones in clear and blue. We have black drills. And then we have, is that, yes, we have two shades of purple. Then these are the bright blue. I can't get any of them flipped over so you can see there's the blue. We have the blue pearl AB and then the other blue rhinestones. She is super cute. Let's see, we'll do it this way. Put them both back in the same bag. Take up a little less space maybe. Because I know when I work on these, I'm going to work on them at the same time. Put the drills on top. There we go. Okay. All right. So that is that for today. Lots and lots of goodies, gift ideas. I love these purses. I can't wait to see how they turn out and how they hold up. Um, I didn't pay all that much. Let's see. I didn't tell you how much I paid for those, and I didn't write it down either. Why didn't I write that down? So the this purse I paid six fifty for, and it was probably six fifty for the other one also. So that's still not bad for a little purse. But um, anyway, that's that. See you soon. And remember, like I said, um, I almost forgot to tell you again. You can go on Peggy Buy. There's a link in the description box. Click on that, and you can head over to Peggy Buy. And just about all of these things that I showed you are there, along with multiple other, um, like the purses. There's like a dozen different purses with different patterns. And same with the boxes, the portfolio color covers, the even the um, the little owl wall hanging thingy. There was a different, several different versions of that also. So go have some fun, and I'll see you next time.